What's up, GT gang? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Mojo. I'm Sam. And today we're gonna be working on Sam's 5.7 Jeep Grand Cherokee. It is, uh, it's got a Hemi, obviously. It's a 5.7, that's why we're here. Always repping Mopar, 24-7. You never have to worry about that. And if you haven't noticed, I've got some merch. It isn't dropped yet. I'm definitely in the early stages, but if you want to uh, maybe get set up or even if you're interested, comment down below and maybe you'll, we'll get the waters tested a little bit. So without further ado, we're gonna be installing a cold air intake K&N kit. Uh, I'll drop the part number down below. And this is going to be specifically for a, Greep, or a Jeep Grand Cherokee truck. It's actually specifically for a 5.7, obviously. What differs from like the 6.1s or the 5.7s that are in the Chargers and 300s is actually the factory setup and the filter sits a little bit farther back. So that is specific to this make and model. So we'll go ahead and get started. And do you have anything to say before we start, Sam? Yeah, I'm ready to see what it looks like. <laughs> All right, let's go, baby. Okay, so now we're ready to remove this cold, this intake that is for the factory. We don't like this sound. Uh, it's almost like a muffler, but for your intake system, it reduces sound because usually people, when they have these, they just want to not hear the engine at all. Well, that's not how we roll. So we're gonna remove this engine cover. It's just got clips on. Uh, we remove this bolt for the hose clamp and there's a clip down here as well as snap clips that you just have to pop off like that. We're gonna pull this off along with this hose. Don't come after me because I didn't tell you how to take off a hose. We'll remove that, take this out and then inspect this case because we'll actually remove this bottom part and replace it with the new one. Okay, so we didn't mention, but there's actually an intake air temperature sensor right here. We remove that clip and put you guys on the timeline. Okay, so now that you have the factory uh, intake system removed, you are left with this bottom piece. It actually has a clip here, as long, along with two or three grommets here. So all you do is pull it right out. Go ahead and pull that out, Sam. We already pulled it out to make sure we knew exactly what to tell you how to do it. There's two external clips for the top of the intake system right here. And boom, your entire assembly is removed. And make sure you pull these out of the factory air box. Um, you're gonna need those for your cold air intake. So the new cold air intake system only comes with the two grommet holes. Put the two grommets in, and then we'll set it in. On these two posts here. Then it'll, it'll rock for now, but once we get the cold air intake on there, then it'll stay up. Okay, so before you actually install your intake tube, you want to have this leaning back a little bit. So we'll install the filter. Uh, that way, if you install the tube, it'll be leaning up and you won't be able to fit your filter in. You could also install your filter before you do this, but we just thought it'd be a little bit easier so we could see the grommets and how they line. So go ahead, Sam, throw that on. All you need is a Phillips or a flat he flathead uh, screwdriver. Or you could use a eight millimeter socket. So next thing we're gonna do is swap out the intake air temperature sensor. So go ahead and pop that out, Sam. Oh, rotate it. And then we'll swap it out onto the new one. And then we can rotate this whichever way we need to once we get it in. Okay, sweet. Now we're ready to install the pipe. All right, so the next step would be to, actually, as you can see with this mocked up, it'll be about right here. Here's your plug for your intake air temperature. And here is the actual sensor. So as you can see, it's not long enough. So K&N actually thought of that and gave you an extended uh, connector. So all we'll do is plug the female side into this one or the male side into this one and the female onto the sensor and we'll be ready to install the tube. So what we did was I actually hooked this around. So now it looks factory, the cover for the engine will actually cover it. See this hose? Yeah, that's garbage. So now we're going to use the hose that k and actually brought with. We'll go from here all the way down to here, to this nipple. And so what Sam's doing now is going over and making sure all the hose clamps are tight, double checking our work. And then we'll put on the weather stripping to seal up against the hood to make it a true cold air intake to keep all the hot air 
out of the intake. All right, Sam's ready to throw on the engine cover. Install is basically complete. Or the install is complete. We're just buttoning everything up. Is it on? Yeah. Okay, let's fire it up. <laughs> okay, so we have the cold air intake installed. Everything is ready to go. Everything's buttoned up. Sam's gonna fire it up. Let's hear it. <laughs> what do you think, buddy? <laughs> here, do you want to stand out here? Yeah. Here, you hold, or I'll do it. It sounds badass. It sounds like a Hemi. You need to get rid of that rev hang. Yeah. Dude, you need to buy my freaking tuner. tuner. Soon. Oh, that sounds amazing, dude. <laughs> Good shit, bro. <laughs> okay, go ahead. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I'm excited and I bet he's even more excited. Yeah. So there's nothing like working on a Hemi, especially when it only takes 15 minutes uh, for what you get. It may not add a whole bunch of power, but for something that makes your car more enjoyable to drive, mm -hmm. you really can't put a price tag on that. So check this out. You know that Billet Technologies catch can that I gave Sam in the last video? Yeah, <laughs> we're going to throw that bad boy on. So you better stay tuned for next week where we throw this back on, even though we're going to throw it on right now. Mm -hmm. You have to wait a week to watch it. <laughs> so we're going to throw this sucker on. And I guess it's been real. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it if you liked it. And most importantly, you definitely need to go check out Sam's Instagram. He actually has a TikTok now yeah. and he just hit a thousand views on his latest video. So He's pretty legit. <laughs> so thank you guys again for watching. And do you have anything to add, Sam? Uh, TikTok is Grant's Garage 57. It'll be down below. And thank you guys for watching. Peace.